There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Good evening, folks. How you doing? I'm back in the building to give you guys a little bit. Let me fix this right here. I know some of y'all like, what's this, what's this Negro doing? Uh, we're good now. I was a little off kilter there, so I had to switch it up. Now, today I'm going to give you a good topic, a good tip on your YouTube journey. I'm going to give you a tip on how to be successful on YouTube. I told you guys, once you got me the views I got, I'm going to open the bank. I'm going to open the keys to the safe. I'm going to open Pandora's box. Now, I'm gonna, I can't tell you everything because obviously you're competing against me, but I'm going to get you off on a good foot. If you watch some other videos, I do show you how to do it, but if you don't watch them, you ain't going to learn. So, let's go in. i tell you that one of the keys on YouTube... And this is a big key. One of the keys is consistency. A lot of people are not consistent. Like when you get on YouTube, you have to have a lot of consistent message. You have to have a consistent upload schedule, and you have to have the consistent uh, videos. Now, you you you, uh, you come to you, you come to YouTube. You want to give your opinion. You have a feeling. You have a you have a, a, a genesis qua for what you believe in. You want to get it out and you don't know how. Well, you get up there, you do your videos. Now, when you first start out, you're good. But the key on YouTube is, and I found this out. Like, if you look at my videos, all my mess, you have to have an overall message about your channel. And that overall message cannot be conflicted by one of your videos. And that's the problem with a lot of YouTubers on it, from what I see. Their overall message is conflicted by maybe a lot of their videos. Like, I have an overall message about you assume your responsibility and you need to take control of your own actions. You have your own life, it's in your own hands. That's to sum it up. But uh, my videos do not contradict that. I will not, I will not place, you know, blame at somebody else's doorstep for something that I do. And that's, the, that's what I try to relate in my videos. You are the controller of your own destiny. If you choose to be a lazy bastard, don't cry about why you don't have shit at fucking age 45. No, if if if, if you if you've been if you fucked up made some pretty bad decisions in your life, you can't come back and say, "Well, I was held down." The only person that yeah, you were held down, but the only person that held you down was your fucking self. That's the type of message I'm trying to get to you. But that's the problem with a lot of these channels; they don't have a clear, consistent message. They have some type of bullshit, you know, where they'll say something one minute and they think people are stupid, and then they'll say something the next minute. And you're supposed to be like, really? Is this, is this what you're trying to do here? This is your thing? You know, consistency is the key. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with the people. You have to keep honest uploads. But let me tell you something. When I came on here, I, my message was consistent. Now, let me go to the upload part. The uploads, you have to be consistent with uploads. If you're not going to be consistent, at least shout out to your people. Hey, this is why I can't upload. Or let me give you another tip. Do a podcast. Go buy yourself a little... Hold on. And now, on with the show. I got this. It's just a little Sony, you know, audio recorder. You know, you talk into it. And I use that for my podcast. And then, like I said, and I try to tell people, this is easier to use than that video camera right there. Because with the video camera, I got to go through... All the edits, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make this look prettier when it gets to you. And believe me, that's a fucking lot of work. But when I use this, I just like use like a still and put this over top. And as far as editing wise, it looks, let's put it this way: a five five minute video could take anywhere between five hours to ten hours, depending on my edits and all my color corrections and all this, that, and the fifth. When I do a video with this, what all I do is I upload the MP3. And I upload, maybe uh, uh, take a, a picture and I put it there, I, I size it right. And then I do all the, you know, the samplings and all that I have to do. And then I do that. It could take me anywhere between an hour to three hours. It's that, it's that good. But like, if you can't do a podcast, or even if you can't do that, at least alert, alert your viewers that, hey, there will be no uploads today. And I've been guilty of doing not letting them know. 
but they know I've been consistent as far as my videos. So they know I got consistent videos Friday and Saturday, Sunday at least. I mean, Sunday and Saturday at least. But uh, the problem is, you get there. If you want, you want, you want it. People want it now. They want it then and now. But I, I don't like me personally. I have a job. I can't upload all the time. I see, I see some of my YouTube friends and YouTube buddies out there. They can, they can do that. Like some are, they're business owners. They, you can do that. But with my job and all, I have to, I have to manage my time between being a bad person on YouTube, being a shitty, being a guy who talks with complex words, to being a bad father, to being a bad husband, to being a bad son, to being a terrible coworker. And I have to balance all that. So some things, you know. But at the end of the day, if you if you want to do this, you can do it. It's just that the hard work, it's hard work. And it's just consistency is being one of the keys. You just have to be consistent. Hard work will pay off on YouTube. I'm a prime example. I came in here and I didn't know what I was doing. And I studied my editing. I studied how to do films, videos. I studied how I wanted. And I studied how to, you know, to project myself to you. I did all that. Now it's just me talking shit. And let me tell you people something. Ask people who know me. I used to talk shit for free and was great at it. Now I, I, I can get paid doing it, so what the fuck you think gonna happen? You can't fuck me when I'm doing it, so just be consistent, you know? All right, peace. There. That's it. That's him.